Hi everyone and welcome back to Calligraphy Masters channel. This video is a bit different as you can see. It's made to be viewed on a mobile device. So if you're watching on a desktop, it might be better to switch to a mobile device. A few days ago, I reviewed in the CMTR the Current Brush Markers Pro. And yesterday, while I was recording a new podcast episode with uh, Paul Antonio, he gave me some feedback about it. And then he sent me a review that he also did some time ago. And I decided to share it with you guys because Paul Antonio has much more knowledge than me. He has much more experience and uh, He's kind of like a king in the brush pens. I hope you enjoy the video. Hi everyone, sorry I'm a little bit late. I was, uh, I was a little bit uh, way late on my email. And I, I know I don't have a really long live today because I'm only looking at two products. So you can see me just sort of rest my hand on one product. So it's, it's fairly high and, and I know a lot of you guys know these markers and they are really exceptional markers to work with. But you know, the, the aim of these videos is to show you how they work on the pads. And so you've just seen me scoring and folding the blue pad and the gray pad. So let's, uh, let's get the markers out and, uh, and let's see how they work. Markers in question today are, ta-da, the Karen, uh, brush markers, the pro set and the uh, metallic marker set. Now, this box is is absolutely stunning. When it arrived, I was I was so excited. So it obviously it has a little uh, metallic flap and it opens and you have this wonderful wonderful range of color. So I'm going to try to use as many colors as is possible because Tim is uh, complaining about my lack of uh, color use. Uh, so I'm waving back to you all, but you can't see me because uh, the, the camera's in the wrong. Let's uh, let's put the. You can just have a little look at that for now. Let's put the camera in the jig. All right. So let's start with the the blue pad. Okay. So we're going to start with the the brush markers, not the the deco not the deco set, but the normal colors. So ah, look at this pink. So of course you know the. The aim is for you to write on these pads and not have too much bleed. So there's a little bit of feathering and I'm not sure if that's that's because um, this is one of the, the, the first batches of the pad. So we, we are having some problems with the way ink is working on them. So let's, let's, uh, let's as, as we're only really looking at two markers, we can have a little bit more of a detailed look at, at the markers themselves. So as we're on the white pad and we can see a little bit clearer, let's look at the structure of the marker. So what does the marker allow us to do? Well, I've just been writing with it and it's come right back to its original place. So just a little bit of information about markers. I know lots of you use markers, but have you taken the time to understand how to use the markers properly? Now, um, you should always test what the marker can do. So remember my lines on my pads are six mil high. So I want to keep the marker fairly vertical. So that's, that's vertical. So obviously you're seeing it at an angle. So I know that I can't get an absolutely super fine line because the tip moves just a little bit. So that tells me that that's, that's probably the best thickness, th thinnest line that I could get because of how the tip move moves. Now that also tells me that the tip will allow me to get a really fine point at the head of something. And that's really important. That's a, a huge consideration so that you know you know that you're always going to get a sharp point now obviously the the marks are bleeding on this paper and um, because there is a little issue with the paper um, but we'll we'll swap to the gray pad uh, soon but i just want to look at some basic marker techniques with you here so we have notice i've gone from vertical to about uh 50 degrees so i'm just pressing 
I'm not pressing down and pulling, I'm just pressing on that tip. So that allows me to get So I'm using, uh, let's, let, let's use the grid properly. Uh, so that's three. So that should be one and three and three. And this should be a three by three. So we're going to go And let's, uh, let's go up in scale to a four by four. One, two, three, four. The tips are wonderful. They really are quite amazing. And look, they've, they've come back to their original shape, which is great. So it means that you're always getting the same kind of shape that you start off with. Notice I'm, I, I'm using the same 50 degree angle at three by, tw by three by six. And then I'm using the same 50 degree angle at uh, 50 degrees at four line heights by six mil. Um, so I'm not, I'm not putting too much ink on the surface because this is the kind of elliptical shape that I'm getting. A little bit, if I wanted to go a little bit heavier, I won't, I'm not, I wouldn't press on the marker. If I wanted it to be a little bit heavier, I would. So I've gone from, remember we were, we were vertical for here. Um, we went to 50, I'm, I've gone down to about 40 degrees. But, I also feel that that needs to be done at five lines rather than four. Because of course, you know, there is proportional scaling that you have to be aware of. So let's, let's do this at four. So you can see how different these are. Um, there's not a lot of bleeding because I'm, I'm not writing really slowly. Like, you know, I, I dropped a lot of uh, pigment there. Let's, let's try another color. I mean, this is insane, the number of colors that are here. This is really, this is a really beautiful set. So this is a pale sort of salmon color. Oh, look at that. I'm loving this. You know, the guys at Karen Marker sent me these ages ago and I, I, I refused to use them until the pads came out. So it's, it's nice to see that that you can use them on the pads if you're you're sort of working a little bit faster um i i'm really enjoying the tips i think the tips work really well they work really well on this surface. So uh, I'll just show you how I use this. I, I tend to do this first, so it tears a little bit easier. Obviously, I wouldn't blend the colors on this, but but we can blend some colors. Let's, uh, let's get a, oh wow, look at this beautiful blue. So let's get a, a light blue. Let's get that purple out again. So that's that beautiful light blue. Oh, wow. That's the purple. Um, let's just put some on one side. And it, the, the markers are really, they, they, they seem to saturate quite quickly with the other color. Um, Bloody hell, look at that. That is great. You know, I, I, 
I, I have been putting this off for so long um, because I really wanted the pads so that I could work with them on the pads and working with the markers. I've just messed that up. Let, let, let's start that over. I'm sort of talking too much. Um, working with the, the markers, it, it, it's, it, it's really quite amazing to see how, uh, how intense these colors are because of course, you know, I have seen lots of other people using them. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going to flood a little bit more color onto here. Um, because I really want to get that first key. Wow, wow, absolutely wonderful. I mean, the, the, the color saturation is, is insane. These tips are phenomenal. I'm, I'm really impressed with this. Um, so you, you, can, you can see a little bit of blending. And one of the great things that I, you know, I'm sort of talking about the tips a little bit because I, I'm, I'm really impressed with them. Um, yes, it, there's a little bit of bleeding on the, on the, on the blue pad. We'll, move to, we'll switch to the gray pad and you won't see that bleeding at all, but you wouldn't see the marker working as efficiently. And I really wanted you to see how this tip works. Um, let's, let's look at a little bit more. Let's look at the tips in a little bit more detail. I'm just loving the color. Oh my God. Obviously we have at this size, I would probably hold it at about, what's that? 70 degrees. So that's 12 mil. 18 the tips work really well they come back really well and they glide really well that's i mean you you you, you couldn't ask for more in a marker so let's let's swap from the the gray pad from the blue pad to the gray pad so now remember the blue pad has a little bit more tooth the gray pad is, is a lot smoother. That is magical. Because it's so smooth, it, it, it's really gliding on the surface. I'm trying not to, to take too many of the markers out because I have to put them back in order. That's that's really quite wonderful that it's it's pulling from it. A little bit of bleed, maybe too much ink. Let's uh, let's look at the saturation. So I'm just going to pick up some color from here. Wow. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm utterly blown away by, let's turn the light up a little bit more. I'm, 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 I'm absolutely blown away by the smoothness of the tip. Look at how that flows. There's no snagging, a little bit of bleeding. Let's, let's try the darker markers.
So one of the things you'll find is invariably colors tend to have a little bit more, um, they tend to have to be slightly more problematic because of the, the carrier and the pigment um, and the binder combination. So this is the, this is the black marker. the deco box right here so I just run into it sorry about that Brilliant. Absolutely. I'm, I'm loving the tips. I'm really, really loving the tips. Let's, let's do a little bit of flourishing. Let's see how the tip will work with. And it's, it's come right back. So that's, that's great. I'm, I'm really, really happy about that. I need to do a little bit more playing and let us see what is this. So let's uh, let's tear this out. <laughs> you guys are hilarious today. I mean, so funny. I'm 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 really really impressed with these markers with the marker tips. I'm really keen to see how they work on other paper. I think it's um, it, it'll be good to sort of sit down and actually have a really really good long play with them. Um, I'm a little bit annoyed that I, I waited for so long to use them, but you know, with a lot of the products, I was waiting for the pads to come out. Um, so I hope in the next iteration of the blue pad, the paper will be, uh, it will be very different because we are working on that. Uh, okay, so I am going to um, swap the camera around because I'm really excited about digging out these 10 metallic paint markers. Now, Karen, I, 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 I had a really nice chat with them in, um, at Paper Worlds this year in Frankfurt. And um, they're great. They're a really, really lovely bunch of people. They are so in love with their product and they, they're really, really knowledgeable about the product. I got to test some of the, the neon markers that they have. Um, and, and those markers as well are really beautiful. I don't have those um, in the studio, but, but when I do get them, I will share them. I will share that, that, that post with you. So I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm not stalling. I'm just trying to temper my excitement because I've tested the, the, the metallic ones and I know they are going to be amazing on the black and the, the grey. Okay, so let me swap this around. Okay, so we have the grey pad in place. The, the deco brush set is again really beautifully designed just like the, the, the other one. It comes in a, a silver pan, a tin, and it has a really nice hinge. And you have some really, really lovely sort of... Um... How exciting! So those are the markers. Let me just put this camera into the jig a little bit further. Those are the markers there. Um, so we have a metallic. These are water-based, non-toxic markers. Shake well before use, store horizontally. Um, so let's let's take the silver. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that. You might, might be hearing the siren. You can hear a little bit of clicking as I'm shaking. So that's just, uh, there must be some like a ball inside of there to, to help with the, um, the shaking the liquid up. So, um, so this is the silver. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is absolutely sexy. 
that is so sexy to write with. I mean, just the way the tip moves, it's, it's such a sensuous experience. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to explore this a little bit with you. Now, look at this little, tiny little sort of little tongue serif. So we're going to try and capitalize on that. Going to zoom out because I'm I don't want to have to keep looking up here. And I'm not rushing this. I'm really taking my time. The ink is, is so beautiful, it's so rich and look, there's no bleed through. There's a little bit of buckling, but as soon as that dries, that's going to change. We know the tips are great, let's try some flourishing. absolutely magical really really quite special i have seen them being used for a while i have been waiting to use them so that the pads are here now that they're here i'm sort of freaking out a little bit because they're, they're so beautiful So some, some really interesting things to consider, right? I'm treating the marker like a slightly adjusted, um, like a slightly adjusted pen, a uh, pointed flexible nib. Oh, wow, look at this purple. <laughs> you should see me, I'm sort of shaking quite vigorously. Um, so I, I'm going to show you a little bit of, um, a little bit of technique here. So I'm going to let's uh, let let's get this page out of the book because the book's too high for me to have my hand on the side. And you know I have a glass table under there, so that that'll help with the rigidity of the surface underneath. So line of universal beauty. Uh, connective stroke. So that that tells me that the marker really does behave very much like a nib. So I'm going to try. Um, so you, you really, for, I mean, because of the shape of the marker, you really need to use a lot of arm movement. And this, I think this is a really great feature of the marker. When you put it down, it gives you the shape that you've put down. Um, let's write a minim. I'm, 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 I'm stunned. I'm absolutely stunned. I'm, I'm really, really amazed by what they've done here. <laughs> My gosh, this is amazing. Right, there's so much that's possible with this. Um, I'm going to move to the black. So uh, let's get some raking light across this so you can see what's happened. 
I'm really, really impressed with this. This is, this is really quite beautiful. Black pad is low enough for us to leave the paper in. So excited, I keep kicking things. So really beautiful on the gray pad, really beautiful on the black pad, the metallic colors. The tips work really well. Um, is that purple? And I'm just going to try this, uh, this beautiful uh, sort of ruby color. I'm, I'm, I'm stunned. <laughs> I am really stunned. So, um, so this is what I see, roughly, because what you're seeing is still not as beautiful as what I can see because of because of the light. Let's turn the light up and see if that uh, that's really bright. Um, might be a little bit too bright. Absolutely amazing. Really, really quite amazing. I'm just going to to scoot back a little bit. Yeah, really, really luminous. I'm, I'm illuminated scribe. I'm really, really amazed by this. And, and of course, you know, I'm, I'm, as I'm talking to you, the colors are sinking into the paper and settling. And so they, they, they are really luminous. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm astounded by them. I really am astounded by them. Pot noodles for three months. Tongue serif, yes. Little tongue serif. Uh, the silver on the on the on the pad is is really quite amazing. The metallic, I think, the metallics work really well on the black and the grey pad. I mean, I didn't try them on the blue pad, and I'm assuming that because they're so um, because they work so well and the, the the saturation and pigmentation is so good, mixing blending the colors would be great. But I'd, I'd prefer to try that before I try to sort of show you. I, again, you know, my pen hold is very different. Um, I've developed a pen hold that helps me to do lots of other things with it. <laughs> oh gosh, you guys are hilarious today. <laughs> um, right, so what I'll do is, uh, so we're at the end. So let me, um, let me show you. So that's, that's it settled. So you really get that still a little wet in there. That, but look at that. So you get this, you get this amazing sort of shimmer um, where the deposition is slightly differential. Um, let's move this out of the way. So that should be dry. Ah, oh, that is, that is something. Look at that. Wow. Um, that gives you a really sort of painterly effect. I didn't, I didn't anticipate that on the, uh, on the, other colors. I mean, it doesn't happen on the gray, on the silver, a little bit, a little bit on the silver, uh, but it's it's really on uh, the other colors other than the the silver and the gold. Um, I'm loving the tips. I think it's 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 really quite quite impressive. So thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Um, as always, thank you so much for 
for coming and, and spending some time with me and and uh, and watching me have some fun uh, on the pad on new uh, with some new product. Obviously, there's 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 I'm just looking at the product table. There's lots of other product to to get through. And what I'm doing is I'm going through all the the non wet ink tools. I'm looking at all the markers, all the brush pens first, and then I will start looking at the um, at ink. Um, because that's going to take a little bit more setup um, because you know I have to get the ink ready and, and mix uh, look at the ink get it to the right look at, at how it works on the tool if I have to mix it up that's a whole other a whole other set of issues um, and you know obviously get nibs and that kind of thing out all right so um, I'll see you guys soon thanks thanks again so much and I will see you tomorrow That's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed what uh, Paul did and I believe it was uh, very useful and uh, informative. Let me know what you think about vertical videos. Are you fine with this or this should be the first and last time that I'm doing something like this? By clicking the subscribe button you show your appreciation for the content and by clicking the bell icon you tell YouTube what you want to see. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one and as always keep writing.